Making it even worse. And uh, right now, we are like, thank you, Linda. We'll be back with uh, Linda and Paul shortly. But joining us by phone now is Wei Tang. He's the founder of Wei Tang and Associates and the Toronto money manager who is, in fact, facing an arrest warrant for allegedly running a Ponzi scheme here in Canada. Mr. Tang, can you hear me? Yes. Thank you very much yes. for... Thank you very much for joining us this morning, uh, Mr. Tang. Can you tell us, first of all, where you are? I'm in China, you know. Are you in mainland China or in Hong Kong? I'm in mainland China. And what exactly are you doing there? Uh, surely you must know by now that uh, the Toronto Police have issued a warrant for your arrest. You know, I'm, you know, I, you know, I told everybody, you know, all my investors and uh, in the public, or all the Chinese community knows I'm in here in Asia, in Hong Kong and China to trade, to make money for my investor. You know, that's all the, the trip it is. You are there to make money for your investors. Whose money are you trading with right now? I have uh, the investor who are not Canadian citizens. They are Chinese citizens. They, are, you know, have a company in Hong, in Hong Kong. You know, I traded for them. And are you going to use the money generated from trading with your Asian clients to repay the Canadian clients? Why not? It's all about money. You know, if, uh, if, if you make money to pay your investors, that's all uh, I have to responsibility for my investors. That's a good thing. So that's all, all my investors love to, to allow me to do that. Uh, Mr. Tang, how long do you think it will take you to pay back your Canadian investors? You know, uh, without the police uh, and always the interruption, it will be very fast. But with the interruption, who knows? You know, this is, if, if, I, if my work be interrupted. So, you know, Mari, one thing is this. The police or OSC, they are not work for investors. Be clear. I told you before, right? You say they are not working for investors? No, 100% not. Me, I am the one working for the investors. But there is, in fact, a warrant out for your arrest. Uh, when do you think you will return to Canada to face those charges? No, that's, uh, that's, you know, that uh, I was uh, uh, planning to return on uh, on um, December 29th, as, uh, you know, and then and I asked for the extension. But, uh, you know, the, the, the detective uh, did not say, I cannot stay longer. They, they didn't say anything. I told my, my lawyer before I wanted to postpone. So there's nothing to do with, you know, uh, free. I'm very open, as you know. I'm very, you know, I'm the one who face the problem, I want to solve the problem. I'm responsible for everything. I did. You know what I mean? Mr. Tang, can you tell me what exactly you are responsible for? The issue here and the charges as they stand are that you were using money from existing clients, or new clients rather, to pay uh, the existing clients. Are you responsible well, I, for that? I'm, you know, money. This is not, everybody talk about this is a, a crime or anything. This is not a crime. You know, the thing is, every financial institution do that. You know? Well, you using, think, uh, pardon me though, uh, Mr. Tang, I believe it is in fact a crime to use money from existing investors or uh, from uh, existing investors to pay new investors and vice versa, that that is in fact a, uh, a crime and uh, labeled a Ponzi scheme. No, no, no. You know, what, the, the Ponzi scheme, the, the people who ask, we told, talked to this before, right? The Ponzi scheme use that, you know, not people who use that or a Ponzi scheme, you know what I mean? No, I'm not sure I know what you mean. Can you uh, please explain? <laughs> you know, this is a very complicated uh, question. I have, a, I have a, four articles uh, on my website, also my book. You know, uh, it's, uh, it's coming because this is a very complicated issue. But you guys make everything simple, simplified. And you think everybody do this is, is uh, the policy. I have. I told you. I told everybody. I have nothing to do with the policy. 
I do not do poverty. I don't know what is the poverty is, you know, but people. Mr. Right? Hank, at, uh, at any time, did you use money from new clients that was coming in as you were growing your funds under management? Did you use any of those funds to pay for returns or to pay the returns of existing clients? No, the bank says they use the money to use the new, uh, use the new deposit to the older investors. That's all the financial institution do. You know what I mean? And what happened to all the money that you had under management? You know, the, the money always stored by an investor. You know, I protect the investor. Nobody else did better than I did. I told you before, right? Because he might, if you start my my work, you start my operation. That's the solution for the whole financial market and institution. You know. The financial industry is not crap. It's a, it's a law model for the financial industry. You know what I mean? Okay, Mr. Tang, uh, can you reiterate again when you think you will be back in Canada? I will be, uh, you know, actually uh, my, my lawyer, uh, Mr. Caddy, is talked to the police and, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, I think it's Ms. Reagan, right? The detective. And uh, when they have agreement, uh, I will be back uh, any time. You know, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't hide, I don't hide, I don't run away. It's, it's ridiculous. I will do that, right? Uh, that's, I, not, uh, that's not my nature, you know. Right? Before I let you go, do you have a uh, message or a statement that you could perhaps give to Canadian investors, who many of whom who have lost their savings in your uh, in your funds? In my funds, they don't have to worry about it. in my funds, except uh, the, you know, OSC or police uh, interruption. Otherwise, I will pay their money, pay their money back very soon. You know what I mean? I can make money, like, very fast. Wei Zhen, thank because you. Because I'm the one, you know, I'm the one who, who uh, are capable to make money in the market. Nobody better than I do. Nobody better than you, Mr. Tang? Nobody. You can't find anybody. Pick me. I then I will say nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, Wei Zhen, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, we look forward to your return, as does uh, the Toronto Police and many no of your investors here in Canada. Thank you so much for joining us. Nobody. Thank you. Bye-bye. That is Wei Zhen Tang, the founder of uh, Wei Zhen Tang and Associates, and uh, as well, money manager. He has a, a warrant sworn out against uh, for his arrest uh, nationwide and is being accused of bilking Canadian investors of as much as $30 million. And, Paul, you listened in there. Pretty self-serving, I thought. Uh, nobody makes money like I do. Uh, it's uh, it's got to be pretty galling to hear for, uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, investors who lost substantial parts of their uh, savings. Uh, uh, he's argued from the beginning that if he was just given more time to continue trading, as he says, he could make all this right. But uh, uh, I'm not sure that uh, everybody on this side of the ocean agrees. No, you've got that right. All right. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Paul Bagnell there. And now another one of the stories we are covering this morning is, of course, the banking.